G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, I had such a huge response from that um, holographic coaster mold that I dusted with the chameleon powders. Did you see that one? And so, so many of you just love this little dude that was in the middle. <laughs> there was four coasters and then this little guy in the middle. And everybody just loved him and said, can you please make a mold with those? So I did. There it is. We have three of these. We have two hearts, two ovals and two teardrops. So I thought... I better pour in this today. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so with these, basically, once this, they're all faceted, so they're really shiny and shimmery. You can get these little glue-on bales like this, you see, and you just pop it on the back, stick it down with some glue, and uh, you can use it as a pendant. Or you can pop it on your keyring, whatever you want to do. So that's those. I've got some gold ones and some silver ones. I've got some other shapes as well, but I thought I'd just use the little round ones so that's what those are and there's my glue my e6000 glue that i use so for today i thought what i would do actually just move these all out of the way <laughs> make some room what i thought i would do is um, i've got some of my platinum 360 plus resin here you really only need about an ounce if that is running out about an ounce so I've got a little bit more than that and I thought I'll put a little bit of purple in it this is the uh, purple by octopus fluids links down below and then once it's kind of semi set like gelled I am going to peel off my sheet of holographic paper it's sticky on the back. I mean, you don't have to peel it off. You could just, you know, stick it straight down. But it's a bit rigid. Um, so I'll just peel it off and, and stick it down onto my semi-cured resin. And then when I peel it back, or when I unmold it, I should say, we're going to have a pale purple crystal with some holographics. Yay! So that's what, that's what we're doing today. So thanks for joining me. We're going to have some fun. Let's do it. Now, um, I don't want it very dark. I just want a little hint of, of purple. It's going to pop a drop on there. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Yeah, I just want a hint of purple because I don't want to have it like too um, sort of opaque and then you can't see you know your holographics okay that might be a little bit too <laughs> too pale a good way of telling how what color it is is just get a piece of paper towel a bit of paper and and do that um, because it looks darker in there because it's deep and you can't even see that on there so it's a good good little trick for you so let's do another drop we'll just go slowly some inks um, are much stronger than others so just you know just be careful don't go and add five drops all of it all at once. Each brand's a bit different. Some are really highly concentrated, some not so much. I find the fluid alcohol inks aren't that highly concentrated. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can see some of that. Yeah, just a very pale hint of purple. That's what I'm after. Alrighty. Now, I better get you out of the way so I don't drip on you. And I'll probably need to get my puffy heart. I'll have probably have some left over, so I might do a puffy heart as well afterwards, but we'll see. I'll just leave them out of the way for a minute. Now, there are only little tiny cavities here, so I'm going to have to just go slow. Pinch your cup. Or you can use a syringe, turkey baster type thing, whatever you want to do. A little piping bag. And just a little bit in there. And just for the sake of the video, I'm only going to use the one colour. Just, we're just doing purple. 
don't overfill them because remember we're going to put the holographic paper on the back so just put don't fill them up all the way because the resin's going to settle whoops you're a bit full you're a bit full just dip your paper towel in and take some out if it's too full they fill up quickly you can always go and add a little bit more I think that's a nice pale purple isn't it so just put a little bit in and then you can go back and top them up if you need to wait till the resin smooths out and levels out and then you can see which ones need a little bit more so hopefully you guys like this mold now Juanita Where's Juanita Walker? Juanita, where are you? <laughs> Juanita, don't buy this mould, okay? I've sent it to you as a gift. Juanita's lovely. Every time I put up a, a new mould, she buys it. She's like the first person to buy it. So I quite often send her a little gift. So I've sent you this mould as a gift, Juanita, so don't buy it, okay? <laughs> you buy something else. <laughs> no, she's lovely. All right, now let me just... I really appreciate everyone supporting me. I really do with my moulds. You don't know how much I appreciate all of you supporting little old me. I'm not a huge company or anything like that. I'm not a mass producing company of moulds. It's just little old me and my husband. He helps me. <laughs> He's a good help to me. All right, now I'm just gonna push all these all into the edges there making sure that I've got it all touching the sides so this is pretty much it now I'm just going to wait for a couple of hours until this resin starts to cure starts you know when you can touch it um, and it doesn't stick to you, but it kind of still leaves a fingerprint, you know, that stage. That's what I want it to be at. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll, I'll put the paper on. Just need a little bit more in a couple of them. You could put anything in here. You could dust, you know, you could dust them with um, chameleon powders like I did with this guy here, this little dude. Or you could put uh, clear resin with some um, what do we call it cellophane chopped up cellophane that one really didn't need it <laughs> um, yeah there's so many different things you could do let me know let me know if you have any ideas on what I can do with this mold and uh, I'll see what I can do I'll see if I can do them for you just making sure that I'm pushing it into all the little edges there so oh missed the missed the middle one all right so that's that's it now I'm just going to let those cure don't torch okay because they they're only little if you go torching you're just gonna there's too much silicone around you know if you had a big mold with lots of resin that's a different story but there's a lot of silicone there and not much resin so if you want to you can just give it a squirt with some isopropyl alcohol and that will pop any bubbles but usually with a thin resin like the 360 plus the bubbles just come up to the surface and they'll pop on their own so i will see you guys in a couple of hours and uh we'll do the next step just taking my gloves off what you can do is just shine your little torch on there Shine your little torch. And if there's little micro bubbles, I'm not fast, but if there's a big bubble, like that one there, I'll just, it's clinging to the edge, I'll just push him into the middle and hopefully he'll come up and pop. Push those into the middle. I don't know, can, can you see, can you see those there? You probably can't. So they've got little micro bubbles in them, but I'm hoping that they'll just come up and pop. Good little trick. All right, see you soon. 
Right, so they've been sitting for um, probably about an hour and a half. So when I stick a toothpick in, it kind of leaves a tiny little point. So I think I think it's ready. I'm not going to stick my fingers in it. <laughs> I've got things to do this afternoon, so I don't want to um, leave it any longer. I had a little bit left and I put that in there, filled that one in. These I was just doing another project and I've filled that. So now I've cut a little square for that one. Now it's sticky on the back, so don't put the sticky side down, <laughs> okay? You've got to put the the shiny or the sticky side up, okay? Because that's the side, I think. Yes. Put the sticky side up. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. Which way will I do this now? Put that there. And just kind of ease it back. I'll use my little silicone brush just to push it down. You can see there how it's made contact already. Actually, it might be easier just to give it a quick little spray. That way it's... Yeah, that works, that works, you guys, that works. Ah. Little, oops, that's dried. Probably haven't filled that one quite enough. I didn't want to put too much in. See this little air pocket there? I think it'll be fine. Like it's it's just the holographic effect. So I think if, if it's tiny little air pockets in there, I don't think anyone will notice it. Alright, now this big one. Try not to touch the top because you'll leave fingerprints. It's got tiny little micro grooves. I have got resin on my fingers. Tiny little micro grooves um, kind of lasered into the paper. So you've got to be really careful with it. So here we go, here we go. I'm going to start in the middle and just kind of lay it down. Okay, squirt it again with some alcohol just so it doesn't stick to my fingers. Push it to make it contact all the way around. See, oh, probably some of them I didn't fill up probably all the way because I'm not getting contact all the way. I'll just keep pushing them in like that. Now if you're only doing one you could cut a little piece and then actually stick it in but because I need to go some in but then it's kind of bending out over the top if you know what I mean I may have to just kind of snip it like that. I was planning on using this paper again but I don't think I can. Now I can kind of push the air bubble out. Yeah, I would have it should probably <laughs> you should have put a little bit more resin in because it's kind of it's not totally flat, if you know what I mean. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with bubbles. I tend to make things hard for myself, don't I? <laughs> oh, never mind. If it was a really thin plastic, you know, like a glad wrap, saran wrap, something like that, um, it would just automatically soak in like and fill all those little gaps. But because it's quite a stiff plastic, it just wants to kind of sit over the top. So this one I filled better. This one I haven't, haven't really filled as much as I should. May have to. Oh gosh, what do I do? Do I take it off and start again? I 
think that probably should. As in, just put a little bit more resin in on top because it's it's not touching all the way around. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to show you something and I'm stuffing it up. All right. I'm going to take that off. These things happen. So, I guess hindsight, it's best to overfill them a little bit. Oh, look at the mess I'm making. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I've got more of that paper, so that's okay. All right, I'm going to clean this up. But look, we've learnt something, haven't we? We've learnt something. Make sure that you fill it enough. I'm just going to get a baby wipe with some alcohol on it and I'm going to clean up and make up a little bit more resin and I'll just top these up no harm done I'll just put clear on I'm not going to mix up another bit of purple clean up my mold put a little bit more on make sure that it's up to the top and then we'll go again hey <laughs> live and learn look it's the only way to learn <laughs> see why I learn anyway I don't do things uh, I learn the hard way all right there we go no harm done this one's this one's okay I fill that up nice nice up to the top I'll be back we'll do we'll get this right we will I'm determined all right, shall we try this again? <laughs> so I put some more clear on. Um, I can touch it without it sticking to me. It is leaving a fingerprint though, so I know it's ready. So look, I could have cut it, edited out my blooper and no one would be any, any the wiser, but that's not how we learn, is it? So I've filled them up so that they're doming couple of them are kind of overflowed a little bit but for the sake of the experiment of using this I'd rather have them doming and this having good contact rather than having them too shallow and this goes going straight over the top and not having that contact because it's dipping down do you know what I mean so anyway let's go again so I cut it roughly the same size as that Gosh, there's something on there. A little bit of silicone. I've been making molds today. All right, now I'm going to try and kind of put it in the center first. And then like push it down towards the edge. Because I think you only get one go at this. You can't pull it back up again. You saw me trying to pull it up before. It did not work. All right, so now we know to squirt. You can use water, I think. I mean, I, I don't have any water near me, but I certainly have the isopropyl alcohol just to take that stickiness off. And again, I'll do each one just rolling it around gently. Push it towards the edge a little bit. <laughs> it evaporates quickly. I've got to, got to get a wriggle on. Okay, this is much better, you guys. Much better. I'm getting good contact here. Can push it over the edge a little bit. It's still a little bit soft, so I can still feel that it's got a bit of movement in it. But I'm just basically going around each one, as you can see, trying to get that sheet of holographic plastic just to give good contact all the way to the edge and if a little bit leaks out you know it's easy to just file off with your nail file it's it's no biggie no big deal so in hindsight it's better I think <laughs> to um, to overfill them a little bit and then sand if you have to rather than not fill them enough Hey, all right, there we go. That's it. Oh my gosh. Now I can see over here on this 
on, on that there, there's a big bubble underneath that. I didn't have enough contact there, but now I know. And now you know as well. We've learnt something together, which is always a bonus as far as I'm concerned. All right. I think that's it. I just need to leave it now. Leave it, leave it, leave it and stop fiddling. It's The glue's coming off. You know how I said the back was sticky? It had glue on it. So when I'm rubbing it with the alcohol, the glue's coming off. I'm going, what is that? It's just glue. All right, I cleaned my hands and now I've got glue all over me. All right. This one is set, but we're going to wait. We are going to wait. What about these? They're not quite done yet. All right. It's late. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right. It's only been a few hours, but I'm really, really impatient. I want to get these out and see what they look like. It's still sticky on top. It's really bizarre that it feels sticky on top. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's coming off. It's coming off. Has it left the holographics behind? <gasps> it has! It has! <gasps> Look! It has! Yay! <laughs> I wonder if we'll be able to see it on the other side, though. So I, I don't know that I'll... Oops. Oh, my gosh. Don't stick on that. I don't know whether I'll be able to use this again, though. You can see it there with the black background be able to this these little like blobs you can see that's the glue that's come off on the back it's not actually the the holographic so I'm gonna hang on to this because the top here looks still in really good condition it's just the back that's lost its glue that's what's looking a bit weird so we'll just put that there actually probably not stick his side down I'll just I'll put it there out of the way okay Right, now, oh, I'm a bit nervous because it's looking really amazing. So let's just, let's just pop these little gorgeous creatures out. See, there's a tiny little bit of overhang there, a little bit of overspillage, but you, know, you can just pick it off with your nail or you can grab your um, nail file and... and file it off later but let's just get them all out for now and then we can flip them over and see what they look like I'll have to do some tidying up won't I there's a little they've all got a bit of overflow on them so anyway the mold is perfectly good we can use that again I'm just gonna just see if I can pick some of these off I don't want to show you the final result with having a little bit of overflow mm. just gonna snip that off the bottom coat is um totally set <laughs> the top coat not so much because you know i was impatient i was but look i don't want to flip it over with this overhang so just bear with me just gonna snip it off with my little I think they're cuticle cutters. And we'll do the puffy heart as well. It's not it's not totally, totally set dry. I should have just waited for the morning, shouldn't I? I should have. Okay. It's not much to do. I'll just do mo the big bits. Now oh, that just comes off easily. Um Yeah, it's still a bit soft on the, the top there, but um, tomorrow I'll be able to just sand those. But yeah, like I said, I'm just, I'm a bit impatient. I wanted to see what it would look like. All right. Should we turn it over? Um, I'm going to get my black card. Oh, no, it should be all right. It should be all right. I might get my black card because we've got a black background here. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we focusing? Uh, focus here. Move those out of the way. All right. Are we focusing?
focused. Look at that. I don't even know if we're focused. Gosh, all right, here we go. Oh, wow, look, you guys. Oh, wow. Look, it's so sparkly and shimmery. Does look better on a black background, doesn't it? Because that's that's just my hand. Is white. It's better on a black. Let me grab my black card. Just a little piece of black card. And now the camera can focus because <laughs> I didn't know what to look at before. I'll just hold it. All right, so there's the round one. I'll go through it real quick. Put it off to the side. Here's a little teardrop. So pretty. And the oval. I hope we're focusing okay. There's the oval one. And a heart. Oh, I need to trim that off. Am I annoying you by trimming? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at that. So pretty. I will just flip all the others over. I won't go individually with each of them. It will just take a little bit too long, won't it? All right, shall we see what they look like with a, a little... Um, oops, a little piece picked up. A little snap uh, glue on... thingy. <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called. Glue on thingy. <laughs> I don't know. It's late. I should be in bed. Oh, okay. Now that's not really going to work, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's... I mean, it works, but, you know, you're going to see... <laughs> you're going to see the little glue underneath. I wonder what it looks like. I wonder what it would look like if I painted some black nail polish on the back. Should I do that? And then we can stick the glue on bale on and you won't notice it. What do you reckon? I'll do that. Now let's get this one out. This one was sitting longer. I'm zooming you way too close, aren't I? Up close and personal. Okay. Peel this one off. It comes off really easily. I'll probably use that again as well. Okay, so I've got some little bits of overflow here as well. It's still a bit soft. Oh, I'll, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. Right, here we go. Ooh, no, that's a different look totally because this is smooth. It doesn't have the facets. And I know you're picking up all these little round ring lights, <laughs> but you can still see the holographics in there. Look, what do you think? I might do a whole range of just these um, also. And because you don't have to use a stick-on bail um, with these, you just put your cord or your chain straight through it, you, you don't have to worry about sticking anything onto the back. And if you're wearing a, a black top, that's what it's going to look like. I'll, I'll just have to tie you up these little bits, but I'll do that. I'll do that. So what do you think? There is a bubble in there. That, that's got caught underneath the plastic because I didn't fill it quite enough. But that's basically 
what it looks like. So let me know what you think. Um, I do like these round ones. I need to go and tidy them up though. <laughs> All right. Um, that's just um, th this was just leftover resin. That's um, was from another project. So I'll just get them out. Now these are just my little giveaways. Just leftover resin that I uh, I mixed up. It was a color changing, like a chameleon powder. I just mixed a tiny little bit in with my clear resin, and that's what I got. So that's them. All right. Well, there you go. It's an interesting, <laughs> interesting little video, wasn't it? Um, I am keen to see what it would look like with a black background, though. I have some a black nail polish. Let's just paint that on. It doesn't have wonderful coverage, so it's going to need a couple of coats. But if you've got a quick drying nail polish, you shouldn't have to wait too long between coats. And it's not like you're, you know, you're, you're putting on more resin. my bottle gone over there so that's just the one coat <laughs> oh gosh I'm a dill <laughs> I've covered up the um the holographics I mean the holographics was <laughs> aiming down but Okay, don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm just going to wipe that off. Now now all we've got, we've lost the holographics, now all we've got is a <laughs> sparkly faceted jewel. Well, we've learned something else. <laughs> don't paint the background. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. Here they are. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Let me know what else you think. I can fill these lovely faceted gem molds with. Uh, I do want to do uh, iridescent cellophane next. I've got quite a few different colors of cellophane I'd like to try. Um, otherwise, you can just dust it with a chameleon powder like that and then you get a really cool effect as well so lots of different things you could do with it all right i wonder i'm going to do one of these and create bubbles just because i want to see what it looks like <laughs> all right gotta go oh, it's bedtime i need to go and tuck the dogs in all right thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you've enjoyed my little video. Hope you've learnt something. And uh, I'll see you again real soon for the next one. Okay, take care, guys. Bye for now.